Hi fam, random chick here, and today we're going to be making pork rind chicken, and it's a lot healthier than using flour. I had a friend that wanted to see it. I also had my mom that wanted to see it, so yeah, I'm going to get into it and show you how to do it. Okay guys, so usually I get the chicken strips, but they did not have chicken strips. They had chicken breast, and this white I usually cut that off of the chicken strips because if not, it makes it like a, a rubbery texture, I guess. Like you bite into it and all the all the uh, breading and stuff falls off of it and stuff like that. But yeah. So if you're doing breast, you'd want to, I guess, cut them in half. I've not did the breast yet, and I don't know if it'll cook the same, but you want to uh, cut it in half and uh, it'll probably cut down on the cooking time so yeah let's get into that okay guys so once you got your chicken uh, cut up and all the little well mostly all the little white pieces removed from it what you do is you get a bow beat you an egg puts um, your seasonings in the bow plus season your chicken that's how I do it I don't know if you know other people do it like that but yeah so here's the seasonings I use this garlic salt this season all seasoned salt black pepper and regular salt okay guys so after you get your chicken seasoned and uh, your egg and a bow and the egg season what you want to do is you want to take this bag and crumble it up you'll probably have a couple of hard rinds in there I just remove them and um, pretty much crumble it as best as you can and then you uh, want to take a chicken breast or uh, usually it's not a chicken breast that I do it's a uh, a chicken strip you want to roll it in egg and then you want to come over here and roll it once in that and then you flash fry the chicken three minutes on one side and three minutes on the other and then we'll throw in the oven and I'll show you I'll show y'all how to do that too so after you rolled your chicken what you want to do like I said is put it in a pan flash fry it on both sides for three minutes each and then you want to take a bacon dish like this one line your chicken in it and then pop it in the oven at 350 for about 25 well 20 minutes if you're doing chicken strips if you're doing chicken breast I would say about 35 minutes so yeah you can tell I've been over here um, rolling it and stuff so I'll show you the rest of it okay guys so after you've got your chicken flash fried and uh, all the rinds on it what you want to do is you want to take it you know like I said and put it in a dish uh, obviously my chicken wouldn't all fit in this one but yeah I had to make it fit so then after you put it in the dish you want to set your oven on 350 and put it on 30 minutes and then go back well, check it after 30 minutes, and if it's not completely done then, then you want to do it for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, guys, update on the chicken. I did tell you 25 to 30 minutes. That's if you're doing chicken strips. But since I, ha I, I did chicken breast, I had to do it uh, on 350 for 45 minutes. And this is how it turned out sorry that's the oven beeping but this is how it turned out and um, it looks pretty good I have not tasted it yet uh, I cut a piece of it though so I can show you how it looks so here's the piece that I cut and that's how it looks and uh, yeah so this is a really good idea because for the simple fact that it doesn't contain a lot well it don't contain as much calories as flour does so it's a good idea for anybody that's on a diet or 
anybody that's trying to watch their sugar if they're a diabetic or anything like that so i hope you enjoy this video like subscribe comment thanks for watching and share the video with friends and family and that's it so have a blessed day thank you for watching bye